Hello everybody, welcome back to Crafty Cabbage. Today I'm going to be customizing some Levi's denim jeans. Um, I am going to be using fabric paint from the brands Tulip and the brands Scribbles of all materials linked below in the description box. So let's jump right in. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab some masking tape and mask around all of these back pockets, both of them. I'm not going to do anywhere else, just these back pockets for today's video. So yeah, you're definitely going to want to go around them because it really doesn't hurt and you're bound to mess up one time or other. One pocket taped up, now let's do the second one. And there we go. Um, both of the pockets are taped up. So now I'm gonna go in with my white paint, or so I thought when I bought it, but it's actually glow in the dark paint. So hopefully this will go pretty good as a background just to get me a good solid color so I don't have to do too many coats of the red and the green. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with a white coat on both pockets. So I guess glow-in-the-dark paint might not have been the way to go. Um, I, I obviously didn't choose glow-in-the-dark paint. I just got curbside, so I couldn't really see uh, what it was going to be. So, uh, yeah, maybe I'll try a second coat. There is a little bit of white, so maybe after I'll probably use this, a whole bottle of this. But anyway, uh, I'll just cover this again, I think, with another coat of this paint in a little bit. And then I can go in with the green, red, and then finally the seeds with this little black. So yeah, I'm going to wait about an hour, go back over it again with the white, and then I will try and go in with these colors. So it's actually about an hour later, and um, I did a couple of things. Um, number one, I blow dried um, the pockets, and that actually worked super well. I did on high level on the blow dryer for about 30 seconds, and it dried it almost completely. Um, so I did a second coat of this paint, and it's looking a bunch better. Probably going to need a third, maybe even a fourth coat. So um, I've used about half of this paint, just for reference. If you're gonna try this, I also put in a piece of cardboard because I watched a couple of videos after that white paint um, did not look opaque at all. So they said um, put some cardboard in to ex soak in some of the moisture so the paint doesn't bleed into your uh, the inside of your pants. So um, yeah, I'm gonna let this dry um, for about 20, 30 minutes. Then I'm gonna blow dry it. Then I'm gonna go back in with another coat of this and hopefully then I can move on to the colors. So the three coats of the white paint are dry and honestly it's extremely hard to tell however in person you can actually tell and it gets a really nice um, clean um, feel instead of this rough denim feel so um, I definitely recommend doing a coat of some sort of um, white color or very close yellowish something like that and yeah, so I am going to do this part red, as you can see with this paintbrush that I used for the thumbnail. And as you can see, it is perfectly going on. No lack of opacity. So yeah, I'm going to do this, this red. As you can see, I did a Sharpie line. And I'm going to do green, green. So yeah. So a bit of blow drying later, this um, first coat is completed. It looks really good, it's super shiny on camera because um, I have lots of lights pointing at it. But um, yeah, it's pretty good looking. Um, I'm gonna have to do a second coat definitely because there are areas, I'll zoom in for you guys, um, 
like right over here that are not super duper opaque so I blow dried it so now it's just a bit sticky and um, I can just go back over it and then I'm gonna let this dry um, all the way overnight and then I can go in with a bit of the lighter green and then some seeds to make this really turn into a watermelon rather than just some slabs of color. So I'm gonna do second coats. I blow dried this and it's looking super duper good. I'm so liking it. I can't wait to take off this tape. But first, I need to go in with this black paint and add some seeds. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Okay, so the black paint is fully dry, it's the next day, and now all that's left to do is peel off the tape and see how it looks. Okay, so they are completely tape peeled and the tape works super duper well, so I'm just going to show you guys the final results on how they turned out. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please do consider giving it a big thumbs up because that really tells me what kind of content you guys want to see so I might post another jeans video if this video gets a lot of likes. I hope you guys are staying safe and if you want you could subscribe and click that notification bell to get notified every single Sunday when I upload a new video. Tag me on Instagram at CraftyCabbageOfficial if you paint your jeans because I'd love to see that. I'll put the handle right over here somewhere so you guys can um, follow me over there. Links in the description and I'll see you guys next Sunday. Goodbye.